All right, back again with another uh, 3D printed build. Um, you guys are going to think I'm kind of off my rocker doing all this stuff, but uh, that's one thing with the 3D printing world. There's a lot of really different stuff out there that you can, will never see or have not seen with uh, traditional model kits. So this is um, this is a lowbrow piece, uh, custom culture, hot rod art. Uh, obviously, it's Fred and Wilma Flintstone and. Uh, Fred and kind of a chopped and uh, raked uh, little Flintstone coop there. Uh, everything's 3D printed. Uh, I made the roof. Uh, the cloth part is just kind of a suede material that I we had laying around the house. I made that, but uh, the kit actually comes with everything else, the figures and the, the, the structure for the roof. This is a really well done piece. Uh, I really had fun painting this. I, I just made a simple base for it and sprayed it with some of that uh, textured um, paint that looks like concrete or rock in this case, bedrock. Um, and Fred's just kind of, it's going to be hard to film, but let me see if I can get in there. We'll go from this side. Uh, Fred's got a stogie in his mouth, got his shades on. Um, just kind of laid back in there, chilling. And uh, the coop I did, I brush painted this. It's all dry brush. This was all done with uh, Createx paints. <clears throat> I use a lot of their stuff. Now, I just knocked Wilma loose a few minutes ago off this base, so I've got some white glue under her again, so I'm not going to be able to tip this all over the place or I'm going to knock her over again. But um, there's Wilma. Uh, woman's uh, woman's a little more risque than she she was in the uh, the cartoon. She's uh, a little more skimpily clad and a little more uh, sexy looking. But it, it's a cool sculpt. And uh, my my friend um, George Weber actually did the original artwork for this piece. Um, and his artwork has been stolen more times than you can shake a stick at. Unfortunately. Uh, it's on everything from coffee mugs to t-shirts to banners to on people's walls and airbrushed on their cars and motorcycles. It has just been stolen over and over and over again. And uh, unfortunately for George, I know it's very frustrating, but it is a wonderful um, illustration. And of course, this it, it came out as a wonderful sculpt. This particular piece did have George's blessing. Um, he, he okayed it. Um, this was actually printed by a fella in, uh, Brazil. Uh, this was a gift to me from my buddy Chuck. Um, this was a fairly expensive piece. I, I did not spend the money on this, but Chuck did. It was very gracious of him to pass this along to me. But, uh, anyway, I just wanted you to see this. Uh, I, I really like this piece. I think I'm going to build a, a background sign back here that says maybe something like bedrock, uh, dragway or something like that or uh, you know, I'm going to come up with something but I'm going to make it probably like uh, I'll do it out of Sculpey and make the sign posts out of bone or make them look like bones dinosaur bones and put a rock sign hanging on so it's still kind of a work in progress but uh, really like this this little little thing and uh, just wanted to share with you so uh, I will see you again soon thanks for looking